we're back baby it has been quite some time since i last uploaded but i assure you a lot has happened since then um i will say that a lot of it hasn't really made for good content it's just been me on solidworks you know or standing at my computer most of the time so rather than just putting out meaningless videos i thought it'd be a good idea just to focus up for a little while, get some work done, and then come back after the fact and kind of summarize it through a couple of, of shorter videos. So that's where we are today. Um, we're gonna jump back eight months and pick up where we left off looking for a front suspension. Good morning, sitting here uh, waiting on our friend Alex. He's gonna be joining me this morning to uh, pick up some parts. The scrap yard we're going to is only open nine to noon today. Last time it took us six hours, so hopefully this time it's only gonna be about three. But we'll see. Hello there. I should clarify that prior to this adventure, I did scout several vehicles ahead of time, so some in better condition than others. But we knew going into today that we were gonna pull parts from this 2005 Explorer. So the idiots here have decided to rest the vehicle on the parts we need. And rather than let us use jacks to just jack up that corner, they make you get this big crane, which is a pain to wheel over, and put a chain around the whole damn thing to lift it up. Be the magic socket. Hopefully. What the actual f <laughs> What is this? <laughs> At least that works. What are you? <laughs> Easier than the other side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hydrate this time around, huh? Yeah. Got coolant dripping on me. Got brake fluid dripping. We've got dirt falling. I'm bleeding in two different areas. <laughs> And we're, what, one bolt on this side away, plus the two 32 millimeter hub nuts from being done. Worst caving experience ever. Oh. The worst part is when you're under here and the brake fluid's just running down the control arm all over you. Yeah. Why is it so stiff? You're loose. Come loose. Is that, oh, it's turning. Sometimes my genius is frightening. Oh, uh, we're halfway there. Whoa. Living on a prayer. Take my hand. You'll make it, I swear. So unfortunately, that's all the footage I have from that day out in the yard. Uh, they actually closed sooner than we expected and we didn't get to finish so we were in the middle of turning wrenches when a guy came up to us and was like hey like yeah I come back another day so we had to leave everything bolted on by the couple of nuts that we didn't have uh, the right socket for as you saw and I had to come back uh, another morning and properly remove them before we could pull everything but we actually have everything that we we went out to get and that we needed so i took everything apart and laid it all out alongside all the other parts that we had pulled from the expedition prior and this is what it looks like and it may not look like much washer and dryer for scale but there's a lot here and 
when you think about it, when you put all this together, this is the four corners that make up the entire vehicle. If we were doing a completely custom job, like this is tens of thousands of dollars in design and manufacturing time that we're gonna be able to make these existing parts work for. Uh, so it's bought us a lot of time and a lot of money that we could budget towards other things like the chassis, the engine, the bodywork, which are the big three remaining things. So I'm really excited with uh, where we're at and next step's gonna be to reverse engineer all this so we can actually establish all those pickup points and hard points for the chassis to mount everything to. So if you stay with me this long, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Whoa.